our topic for today is how to charge a probation refer using other system for example we have two systems system one and system two we need to transfer system one going to system two they ask if that is possible yes that is possible and how I'll show you this manual so that I can clearly explain to you. This is refer provision. This is the system. System 1 and system 2. This is the compressor, the condenser, and then this is evaporator. We have four evaporator, meat, fish, vegetable, and dairy. That is common. As you can see, there is a common suction going to compressor 1 and 2. It means it, it has a interconnection. And then after the condenser, it has a, it has a crossover. That is our four evaporator. This is the suction. As you can see, it's common going to 1 and 2. That is the discharge. This is the simple block diagram so that we can understand clearly. We have compressor, two compressor. Condenser, condenser, and it has a interconnection or crossover for system one and system two. It means common line for suction and discharge. Example: This is the evaporator. We do a sample only one evaporator. But in our system, we have four evaporators in different rooms. Condenser going to expansion valve, expansion valve going to evaporator, then evaporator suction going to compressor. The condenser has a isolation bug note after condenser there is isolation bug that is for the pump pumping down isolation bug we have also a video about pumping down you can browse our playlist this is the bottle we need to charge on the liquid line this is a charging bottle okay first thing to do if you charge a charge a refer using a bottle you isolate this one open open sorry close 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 okay which means the bottle supply going to dryer going to expansion to evaporator and then accumulate on the condenser the condenser has a side class one half or three volt also we have a video about charging a aircon it's the same procedure just browse it okay this is the answer this is the compressor again I'll, I'll draw again so that 
it clearly explained this is the explanation about system 1 and transfer to system 2 or vice versa number 2 refrigerant going to system 1 if you charge it using system 1 you can charge going to system 2 okay this is the expansion valve same black diagram that is common evaporator expansion valve to evaporator and evaporator going to system 1 and system 2 this is common common valve ah sorry common valve and suction that is the arrow arrow is point uh, the direction of flow that is dryer at the dryer there is a charging valve about for the liquid first step close the suction number two for the compressor close open after condenser number two close number one condenser after condenser open suction for number one number two full side glass about three fourth and then number one is empty the scenario is we need to transfer the con the refrigerant of number two going to number one it means the condenser after condenser of number two is open the pressure going to the dryer to the expansion evaporator and suction suction by the compressor number one and store on the number one condenser okay again number two condenser going to expansion bulb evaporator suction by the compressor and then stored at the condenser okay the level of that number one you need to stop if it reaches one half or three port to be safe after that it has a level about one half or three port just close this number two condenser and then open open this after condenser for number one so that so that you can operate at the normal operation you have a closed loop about number one because you open the after condenser this is transfer a system 2 going to system 1 number 2 going to system number 1 first thing to do close suction number 2 we will transfer number two system going to number one number one right now it's running first step that i do is open i'll open already this one at number two open and then must be close must be close on the other other compressor this one it's close so that the number two the number two refrigerant transfer on the number one be sure to close the number two suction com at the compressor right now it's still running and I'm waiting for the level for the condenser as you can see there is a interconnection discharge discharge from compre uh, condenser 
that is the entire connection I wait for the level it's a half or three port to be safe but half at the side class it's okay right now the the refrigerant coming from number two transfer to number one I already explained to you at the beginning of the video but right now this is the actual I already run this compressor this is the pressure same and the side glass is starting to build up or rise up that is side glass for number one it's still coming from the number two system going to number one going to number two side glass we will check starting to decrease because it's transferred to system one note that if the level at the side glass number one is at the half you need to close the valve almost a half this is side glass four number one almost a half okay we need to open this one after condenser we need to open after condenser and then after opening this one immediately close system number two this is system number two just close the valve after the condenser almost the same this is the normal operation already open and the side press is one half at the level of the side press and number two is almost one fourth but the goal is we successfully transfer number two system going to number one we will check at the ECR the the temperature for our meat almost 19 and vegetable dairy negative 19 but at the actual it's almost 18 it has a tolerance about one degree provision number one is is running right now and the level of the side cast is at the half it's normal almost maybe almost cut off it reaches the cut off we will check it's starting to getting low suction because the solenoid at the evaporator it's closed almost closed because it reaches that temperature need to observe if the loss suction is triggered if the loss suction is triggered it means the temperature is reached if the temperature is reached the solenoid valve is closed that's why that's why it will trigger a low suction almost there need to observe at that one okay almost stop compressor is stop as you can see the recycling is activated 
if anti-recycling is activated it means that is triggered with a low suction okay. the compressor is stopped it means it reaches that temperature okay. this is it. this is the charging common line for the liquid I hope you learn from this video and this is the common liquid or they call charging line but you can charge also at the condenser this one after condenser If you learn from this video, click like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. And follow us on Facebook, Barco TV. Thank you very much.